Welcome to this at uh, Max this video. Oh, oh, oh. And the video we are reacting to kids who beat the system. Hilarious. We'll see. I'll be the test to see if it's actually funny or not. But I do want to give you guys an update on these ears. These ears, the day that I'm recording this, I got a call from my doctor. And he finally, they said, um, they're referring me to an ENT. If you guys don't know what ENT is, they are a ears and nose specialist. So that means these ears are going to have to be some work on. And more likely, I would have to go into surgery and be gone for who knows how long of work. And I will have to be at least gone for a day or two of YouTube. So I'm going to try to record and have videos out so you just start to still make these daily uploads because these daily uploads, I've been just recording, 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 take a few days off, recording, 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 take a few days off. Man, it's hard work though. So let's get and do kids who beat the system. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 hilarious kids who beat the system. There are many good things about being a kid, but as your young parents, teachers and life in general put restrictions on you, well here are some kids who have already figured out how to win at life. Before we get into it, be sure to subscribe to Top 10s and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 we have Legos. We all know the worst thing about being a kid is your parents getting mad. This usually means you're going to be shouted at or even spanked. Now as a kid you can't exactly do much about this. However, one young boy who was in trouble took precautions that meant he was untouchable. Forget Al Capone, this kid is a true genius who beat the system. You see, he scattered his Lego pieces all over his bedroom floor to make the ultimate booby trap. If you've ever stepped on a Lego piece, then I'm surprised you're still around to watch this video. Okay, they're not that bad, but it sure does hurt to step on a Lego brick. So seeing as this kid has put Legos all over his room, he's made a barrier between him and his parents so they can't punish him. Of course, him messing up his room with Lego probably got him into more trouble. But seeing as he's blocked off any way to get to him with the Lego, I guess that doesn't matter. This kid truly has beaten the system. Yeah, you did. Next up is Confiscated. So, we've seen one kid who tricked his parents. Now that's one thing, but what about tricking your teacher? A few years back, one kid named Schneider got his phone confiscated after using it in class. Seeing as kids can't go along without checking their phone, you can see why this would be a problem. The kid wanted his phone back, but his teacher said his mom would have to come in and collect it so she could hear what he was doing. Now this would also be a problem, as his mom would be mad if she knew he got his phone confiscated. So, this kid beat the system by dressing up as his own mom and trying to get his phone back from his teacher. And the most surprising thing is, the teacher actually believed the disguise and gave him his phone back. What? They bought it. He figured the teacher would question if his mom was really him, as this would make her look rude if it really was her. And it worked. His friend tweeted out what he did, but it got out of hand and went viral, which caused his teacher to find out. Now, of course, this did get the kid into more trouble, but at least he pulled it off in the first place. And also, this kid has gone down as a viral legend and who beat the system. Next up is Player. When I say Player, what do you picture? You probably think of a guy dressed as James Bond with tons of models in a beach house somewhere, right? Well, perhaps you should change that image to an innocent preschooler instead. It sounds crazy, but it seems like some kids who haven't even reached middle school yet are already breaking hearts. This photo was taken at a preschool and shows a little boy and a little girl hugging. They're obviously boyfriend and girlfriend, but if you look to the right, you can see the boy is secretly holding... Stupid ad. They're obviously boy friend and girlfriend, but if you look to the right, you can see the boy is secretly holding onto another girl's hand. Did this kid really get caught cheating in a preschool class? Some older people who cheat could learn a thing or two from this kid, as he seems like a master finesse. The girl he's hugging has no idea he's secretly holding hands with another girl right behind her. And we all know that for a preschooler, holding hands is a pretty big deal. Something tells me this kid is going to break a lot of hearts when he's older. What has the yeah. world come to when preschoolers have side chicks? Welcome to 2018, everyone. You mean 2020? Next up is Grabber. Now we all love arcade games. But one of the worst arcade games that no one likes is those grabbing machines. We all know they're a massive rip-off as the prices always down slide one. off the hook. Now as adults, there's nothing we can do about Ow. this. But one kid decided to beat the system and take action. After losing her money on this lame grabber machine, she didn't win any prizes and was not happy. But she was determined to get the giant stuffed panda, so she crawled inside the machine. The arcade supervisor spotted her inside the machine and was very mad. But the girl simply didn't care, so she needed to get the panda prize she was trying to win. She succeeded in doing 
doing this in the end, which is pretty impressive. It definitely shows determination and quick thinking that only a kid could get away with. Yeah, I think the supervisor would be a little more angry if it was a fully grown man in the machine. Either way, this girl sure does know how to beat the system. Next up is football. One of the worst things about being a kid is school. And the worst thing about school is tests. Well, one smart kid decided to use a few sneaky tricks in order to get the right test answer. The question was, which is the best estimate for the length of a football? The answers were 1 foot, 4 feet, 5 feet, or 8 feet. Now, either the kid wasn't sure or he just didn't feel like answering this dumb question. So instead, he filled in 1 foot and then added ball onto the end of the word, making 1 football. Now, 1 football would be the length of 1 football, so the teacher really can't complain. I'm just kidding. This kid probably got a detention for doing this, but he still did beat the system by technically getting the answer right. What would you do if you were a teacher? Mark this right or wrong? I would personally give him an A for beating the system, but an F for math. Yeah, for real. Next up is Fishy. This is one kid who took instructions a little too literally and ended up beating the system. His teacher at his school in Japan taught the entire class to bring in a fish to observe. This meant the kids had to go out and pay for a fish just to bring into class to look at. However, one kid he either didn't want to spend his money on a fish, or perhaps he just forgot to do it. So instead, he simply bought in a fish from his refrigerator. While the rest of the kids had to spend their cash buying goldfish and so on, this kid simply beat the system and did something different. It sure beats the other kid sitting across from him who bought in nothing. And if his teacher complains, he could simply say he did exactly what she said by bringing in a fish. Only this kid purposely took her instructions too literally. A teaching aide took this photo and it went viral on Japanese social media sites. I can see why, so this kid is either an idiot or a genius. Yes. Which do you think? Next up is outside. When you've done something wrong and your parents find out, you have two options as a kid. Either block off your room with Legos, or you have to face up to the punishment. One kid was grounded by his parents and they told him not to set foot outside. Now, for most kids, this means they wouldn't be able to enjoy the sun and would have to stay indoors. But yeah. this crafty kid found a way to avoid being totally grounded by sticking all of his body out of the door but leaving his feet in the house. You see, his parents said don't set a foot outside, so I guess every other body part is fair game. Yeah. His dad took this photo of him and posted it to Reddit, where it went viral and people nicknamed him the Genius Kid. I sure do agree with that, as he really did beat the system. You may assume his parents were mad that he found out this loophole, but actually they were impressed by his intuition. To be fair, it is impressive to pick up on such technicalities of a punishment at his young age. This kid should definitely be a lawyer when he's older. <laughs> Next yeah. up is True or False. This is another kid who beat the system when it comes to a test at school. But this one is even smarter, and you can use it in school too. One kid had to do a true or false test in school one day. However, he must have not been very hot on the topic, or maybe didn't study. But if you're crafty enough, then this isn't the problem. He simply wrote a hybrid of true and false for each answer. The T looks like an F, the R looks like an A, the U looks like a U and an S, and the E is the same on both words. His teacher posted this online when she found it on his test sheet, and it went viral. This has actually worked for some other kids who tried it out, but that wasn't a single answer, not the entire test. Some teachers who are quickly checking the work simply read it as the right answer, as that's what they expect to be there. Are you going to try this out at school? If you do and you get caught, just remember, you didn't hear this one from me. Seriously, <laughs> I don't want to end up being in detention in schools all over the world. Yeah. Next up is bad. tablet. As kids, we all have to contend with house rules. For example, this kid's not allowed to use his tablet in the kitchen as he may spill food or drink on it. But he's also not allowed food or drink in the living room as food or drink may be spilled on the rug or the sofa. Oh, I heard so about to get around this, the kid different. simply hangs out in between the kitchen and the lounge. He puts his tablet down on the rug of the lounge and keeps his food and drink on the floor of the kitchen. This is a genius genius way to have your cake and eat it. His mum posted a photo of this clever idea showing off his smart way around the house rules. People found this hilarious, and some even called this kid a genius. I think Einstein would be pretty annoyed if people were comparing E equals MC squared to this, so I won't go that far. But one thing neither you nor Einstein can deny is that this kid knows how to bend the rules and beat the system. Have you ever found a crafty way to get around house rules? Next up is playing outside. So, before we saw a kid who wanted to play outside but wasn't allowed to, well here we have the exact opposite of that. Many kids today like to stay inside and play their games on the Xbox, PlayStation, or computer. One yeah. kid was playing a game on his computer too much and was always cooped up indoors. So, his parents told him to go outside and play. He went outside and they probably assumed he went out for a bike ride or to play football outside. But minutes later, his mom looked out the window and saw he was literally playing outside. This is another kid who took instructions way too literally in order to beat the system. Guys, if your parents ever tell you to play outside instead of inside, then try this out. Or if they tell you to stop watching YouTube videos indoors, then simply watch them outside. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever done anything like the kids on this list to beat I the system. I haven't thought about it before, though. So. And check no, out the poll in the top red corner to vote for the kid who beat... Pretty sure I thought about a few of these as a kid.
but never did it. I think the last one was really the one that I really thought of as a kid. Like, as a teen, I should say. Um, but, because I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm 20. Ugh. Well, guys, these were ingenious ideas. I had some of their ideas. Like, I think I had the same thing with the food and the drink one. Or food in the top of the one. They didn't have that idea before. And I think I might have did it, too. One, like once. Same thing with the outside one. No. No, because when I... When they said, um, play outside. That's why I did as a kid half the time anyway. Until I turned like 14, 15, and then I'm inside all the time because... Well, I didn't have a phone, tablet, or whatever until I was like, I think I had my first tablet at four, no, 14 or 15. So I was pretty old <laughs> compared to some of these kids now where they have tablets at three, four years old. So, yeah. So I was outside in me all the time as a kid, like, as a young, young kid or whatever, so. Even early teens, I guess. I was outside. I remember throwing a ball. My brother would be in the front of the house. I would be in the back or out of the way around. We would throw a ball over the house with each other. I remember doing that, thing. Kind of fun. I miss those days, though. Oh, fun times. Well, I guess that would be it for the video. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, don't forget to like, and I guess I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye!